Well, we're lucky uh, 20 years later you're still interested to talk about it. Yes, and I also think that Joseph, King of Dreams, was another good one. Like, those were probably the top two Christian cartoons, in my opinion. I, I really like Joseph. In some ways, I like that story even more than Prince of Egypt because it's more personal. It's not a spectacle. It's a simpler story. It's small. The animation end is nowhere near as good as Prince of Egypt, but the story still works. Yeah, and for a number of years, when I, I first heard of Joseph when I had the VHS tape for Chicken Run, because it had the trailer on it. Ah. Uh. And even though I knew about the movie for years, I didn't watch it until my early teens when I was in the middle of a rough spot in my personal life. And I was introduced to it by a cousin, and she told me it wasn't a theatrical release. And I watched the movie, and by the time that I got to the You Know Better Than I scene where yeah. he was powerful, you know, mm. I was like, how did this movie not get put in theaters? This is brilliant. I think it might have gone overseas in some themes. It was funny because it was the one and only video, uh, home video release that DreamWorks ever made. Because right after it came out, the video market was already starting to collapse. Yeah. And honestly, I really think to this day that Joseph would have been just as successful, in my opinion, as Prince of Egypt if it was in theaters, because that scene, you know better than I, was very powerful. That's just my yeah. opinion. It's it's a good song. John Bacchino wrote that. It's a, it's a really good song. And um, David... Oh, what's his name? Campbell. Uh, David Campbell sings it, and he's brilliant. He's perfect. Yeah, and last, a couple months ago, I interviewed Danny Pelfrey, who composed the music for it. And yeah. I, I asked him what made him select Campbell, because at the time, Campbell wasn't well known, you know. And he told me that, you know, there has to be a level of disbelief in certain parts of the voice. But in any case, Campbell was clearly the winner.